All right, what's good, YouTube? It's Shin, and today I'm coming to you from the Sahara here in Las Vegas, where we're going to Chickies and Pete's for dinner. Now, I've actually never eaten here before, and I'm super excited to check it out. Let's head on inside. All right, everybody, so here we are seated at Chickies and Pete's Crab House and Sports Bar at the Sahara. Now, I am definitely digging the vibe in here. They've got over 50 gigantic TVs for all of your favorite sports programming, over 20 types of beers on tap, and a really inviting atmosphere. I like the vibe here a lot. Now, I'm definitely looking forward to what they've got available on the menu. Let's go ahead and start by looking at the drinks. Now, here is your cocktail menu at Chickies and Pete's. Got your custom cocktails up here. You have your featured wines, and it looks like they serve Pepsi. Let's go ahead and flip the menu. Here is all of your draft beers. Looks like roughly $10 for drafts. And feel free to take a pause in the video if you would like to look for your favorite beverage here. We also have cans and bottles. Your spiked seltzer and cider, as well as your non-alcoholics. Very nice. Alrighty, and that's a pretty good looking cocktail menu. And it's a Saturday today, so I'm definitely going in on some alcohol. And I think I'm gonna get a Mai Tai today. While we wait on that, let's go ahead and take a look at what they've got to eat. Alrighty, and here is the menu at Chickies and Pete's. Looks like they're famous for these crab fries up top. And let's take a look at the starters here. Chicken tenders, fried mozzarella, onion rings, very classic starters here for an American bar. Uh, nachos, as well as chicken wings. That all looks really good. Here are your soups and salads. Ooh, you know, some clam chowder sounds pretty good today, even though it's 100 degrees outside. Here are some Philly cheesesteaks. Oh, am I in the mood for a Philly cheesesteak? That actually sounds pretty good. Here are your burgers, your classic American cheeseburger, as well as a barbecue burger and a tail, ultimate tailgate burger. Crab cake, man, that looks really good. And then here is your list of sandwiches. You've got your chickens, your clubs. Uh, yeah, very nice looking sandwiches here. Let's go and flip the menu over. What do we have on the back? We have a list of pizzas, a blonde lobster pizza. That actually sounds really, really good. You've got your shrimp and lobster here. Looks like uh, different types of shrimp, as well as some baby lobster tails. Here are your mussels, clams, and oysters. That all looks really good. And looks like they also have a seafood saute or a seafood boil here. These are really tough to film though, because my hands get so filthy. And then here is some crab. Very, very nice. Looks like I can get some king crab legs here if I wanted. Yeah, this is great. Now that's a really nice looking menu here at Chickies and Pete's. And you know how it goes in my videos. Every restaurant's a buffet if you're willing to pay. So I'm gonna go and get my order in and I'll catch you in a little bit when my appetizers arrive. All right, everybody, and my appetizers are here, and these are looking really good. Let me go in and give you a view. I went ahead and got their lobster crab fries along with their buffalo chicken nachos and a bowl of their New England clam chowder. And take a look at this, my Mai Tais here as well. This is all looking really good. Let's go in and give it a taste. First and foremost, let's go and take a sip of the Mai Tai. Cheers to you. Thank you so much for being in the video with me. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a really nice Mai Tai. Nice strong pour here, tons of rum. You definitely get that lime juice and the acidity. It's just a really refreshing Mai Tai. Alrighty, first up, I want to try a spoonful of the clam chowder. I'm definitely a huge fan of the clam chowder and I'm loving these oyster crackers on top. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh yeah, that is really good. Super thick and creamy and it's really well seasoned. You certainly get the essence of clam here. I got a huge chunk in my spoonful. The potatoes are really soft, perfectly cooked through, and the oyster crackers provide a little bit of texture crunch. You know, it may be 100 degrees outside, but it was still a good time for some clam chowder. I like this one a lot. Alrighty, next up, let's go ahead and try the buffalo chicken nachos. Now, typically I'm not a huge fan of blue cheese because I find it very overpowering. However, if I do go in on it, usually it's with some kind of buffalo sauce. And the buffalo chicken nachos here are looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Yeah, that's actually very tasty. Really crisp tortilla chips here, which is a staple when it comes to a good nacho. The cheese sauce is salty and rich, which is really nice because it helps complement a lot of the spice here coming from that buffalo sauce. You definitely have nice big chunks of chicken all throughout the nachos. 
and they in turn have also been cooked very well and impart a really nice buffalo flavor. The blue cheese provides a nice pungent cooling here, you know, and in general, the nachos are incredibly satisfying. I'm a big fan of these. Alrighty, and the last appetizer I want to go in on today are the lobster crab fries. This is definitely one of their signature items here. Crab fries topped with butter and garlic and cheese sauce. And I've got a nice big chunk of lobster here on the fork. I'm really excited for this one. Mm. Oh wow, those are actually really good. The fries have such a great crispy exterior and a pillowy center. Even without any of the toppings, the fries themselves are very well seasoned with a little bit of a Cajun spice. The crab meat here is firm and sweet, and the lobster also has a nice rich flavor here. The cheese sauce is also providing a very nice salty hit, and there's just a ton of butter here making things oh so delicious. Yeah, I gotta say, these are really good. I can see why it's a signature item here at Chickies and Peas. All right, everyone, I'd say a pretty good start to the meal. I'm really liking the appetizers here. I'm gonna go and continue working on this, but I'm gonna take a lot of it to go because you know I've got a ton of food coming. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back with the first hand of entrees. All right, everybody, so my first round of entrees are here and this is looking really good. Let me go and give you a view. I went ahead and got the shrimp tacos along with their classic Philly cheese steak, added some mushrooms here, and then also their classic cheeseburger. I mean, this is the epitome of bar food, right? And it's looking really good. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All righty, first up, we're gonna go and try the shrimp tacos. These are pico de gallo, roasted corn, as well as some jalapenos here. And this is looking really, really good. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Oh yeah, that's really good. The shrimp is nice and plump and imparts a really great flavor. The de seeded jalapenos along with that pico de gallo definitely provide a really nice heat. You certainly get a little bit of freshness from that cilantro as well as the sweetness of the corn here. But there's a chipotle lime crema that's also setting off a ton of really great cool flavors and a rich balance to the rest of the bite. Yep, I like it. I'm a fan of these tacos. Alrighty, next up we're gonna go ahead and try the Philly cheesesteak. Now this is the classic Philly cheesesteak that comes with their cheese sauce and it comes with or without fried onions. I also opted to add mushrooms here. This is looking really good, I'm pumped for this one. Wow, that's actually a really great Philly cheesesteak. The steak here is really flavorful, perfectly seasoned, this is probably the most flavorful steak in a Philly cheese I've had in a long time. Now the cheese sauce is nice and rich. It's the same cheese sauce that was used on the crab fries. The grilled onions here provide their nice caramelized sweetness. And the mushrooms certainly have a bit of an earthy flavor as well as their spongy texture. The hoagie roll here is also nice and soft and is holding all of these flavors in very well. I'm definitely a fan. I think this is my favorite item of the day so far. Alrighty, and last from this first round is gonna be a bite of their classic cheeseburger. Now I got this burger cooked medium, and hopefully the burger here at Chickies and Pete is as good as that Philly cheesesteak. Mm. Yeah, I gotta say, that's a really great burger. Nice medium burger here, you got a really hot pink center. The vegetables are incredibly crisp and very fresh. Now, I believe they've used the white American cheese here, although I'll say the flavor is very mild. I don't think I can really taste it all that much. And if I did have one gripe, I would really love a toasted burger bun because otherwise the flavor of the seeded bun is quite nice. Not a bad burger at all, but if given the choice, I would definitely be going after that Philly cheesesteak. All right, everyone, not a bad start to the entrees. Now, one thing I will kind of gripe about is the fact that if you're buying a burger or a Philly cheesesteak or some tacos, I would like a side to come along with it, but otherwise very, very tasty and I am a fan of the food. Now, I definitely think I'm gonna take the majority of the second round to go because you know I'm gonna get a third round of food. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. All right, everyone, and my last round of entrees are here, and this is looking really, really good. I went ahead and got some fried shrimp as well as their signature lobster white pizza. I think I'm in for a treat. Let's go ahead and give this a try. All righty, first up is gonna be the fried shrimp. Nice butterfly shrimp here, and it's really crispy on the outside. I'm looking forward to this. Hey. 
yeah, you know, that's fine. The shrimp here is really nice. The breading is light and crispy, but I think it's also a tad under seasoned. You definitely just kind of taste the breading only. Let's go and dip the rest into some of this cocktail sauce here. All right, and let's go and give this a try. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that cocktail sauce certainly helps. You definitely get the kick there as well as that tangy flavor from the tomatoes. I wouldn't say it's the worst. I just don't think I would get that again though. Alrighty, and last but certainly not least, let's go ahead and try the lobster white pizza. Now apparently this lobster pizza was featured on Oprah's show. And if it's good enough for the queen, it's gotta be good enough for me, right? Let's go ahead and give it a try. You know, I'd probably say that's just okay. This pizza particularly feels like it's missing a bit of an identity. It doesn't really know if it wants to go full on white pizza and it doesn't really put that lobster flavor in your face. I definitely did get a nice chunk of lobster in that bite that I had. And while it did impart a lobster flavor, it wasn't all that robust. The cheese on the pizza is rich and salty. Unfortunately though, I'd say the white sauce underneath that cheese is definitely lacking. Either it's missing some extra garlic or something. It could definitely use some more amped up garlic flavor here to be a true white pizza. And to be fair with you, I'm not a huge fan of the crust. I would definitely like to be a lot more toasted on the bottom. I gotta say, it's a little unfortunate as the most expensive item that I tried today, it was definitely not the hit. All right, everyone, and that's the third round of food. I'm gonna go ahead and pack this up because I'm definitely starting to get full. Now, it doesn't actually look like they have a dessert menu here, but my server let me know they have a handful of desserts available. One is some custom donuts. They also have a cheesecake available as well as a layered cake. I think I'm kind of in the mood for a cheesecake today, so I'll catch it in a little bit when that arrives. All right, everyone, and my cheesecake is here, and this is looking really good. Let me go and give you a view. Pretty classic looking cheesecake here with a bit of a strawberry drizzle. Got a little bit of forkful here. Let's go ahead and give it a try. You know, yeah, that's a good cheesecake. Incredibly smooth cheese cream center, and it's nice and sweet. You definitely get the vanilla bean flavor here. It's infused really well. The caramelized top provides a little bit of a nutty flavor, and the graham cracker crust underneath provides a great texture. The strawberry glaze here has a really great sweetness as well. I gotta tell you, no real complaints from me. This is a very good cheesecake. All right, everyone, and that does it for my dinner here at Chickies and Pizza at the Sahara. Now, my dinner came out to $227 today before tip. And overall, I had a very enjoyable time. Hands down, my favorite item was that Philly cheesesteak. I would 100% come back for that. And the lobster crab fries were really tasty as well. I'd probably end up skipping on the lobster pizza as well as the shrimp next time. And this cheesecake was a nice sweet way to end the meal. Now, go to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I would love for more people to see it. And if you enjoy food content from here in Las Vegas, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got so much great stuff coming your way. And that's all for this one. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed Vegas with me. Shin. Bye.